Hey guys, today's Panda's interview question is that uh, how can you get the sum of uh, all the values of investment amount column in Shark Tank India All Pitches data frame? So there's a data frame called Shark Tank India All Pitches and it has a numerical column called investment amount. So the question is that how do we get all the sum, sum of all the values which are there in this particular column? So let's see. So at the very first, I'm gonna import my library. I'll say import pandas as pd, run this. And now I'm gonna read my data frame into a variable called df. So I'll say pd dot read underscore csv. And then I'll just copy the name of the data frame from here itself, dot csv. Now, let me just do df.head to check the top five rows of the data frame. Now I could see that there is a column called investment amount and it's like in lakh INR and it has some numbers to it. So we want to get the sum of all the numbers. So how do we do it? Let's see. So I'll tell a uh, yeah, few, few, few methods by which you can get this result. So the first one, as first, you just get all the columns. So when I say df.columns, we have this column, df.column, investment amount in lakh IR. The reason I specifically did df.columns because sometimes what happens in the name of column, there is a white space. And uh, every time we select that column, we ignore that white space and we end up getting the error. So this time I'll select this column from here which includes one white space to the right. Now, all I need to take this particular column. So I have taken this investment amount column and the simplest way of doing it that the series has a functionality called sum. So if I do dot sum and if I just press shift and enter, I'll get the value 2,537. So this was the most easiest way of getting the sum out of a particular column. There are some other ways as well. So the next way is if you just import the other library called NumPy. So we have a NumPy library, which has been imported by the name NP. Now, when I say NP, dot sum so it numpy itself having a functionality called sum and all we need is the particular column now when i run this i see that 2537 has been calculated by numpy as well so either you use a direct functionality of series or you can use the functionality of numpy the other method that I just want to show you is the brute one. So brute one means you have to iterate each and every element and then you have to add it up. So how do we do this? Okay. So for doing it brutally, I'll use a variable called counter. I'll say counter equals to zero. And then I will iterate through each and every element of the investment amount series. So I'll say for I in, um, I'll just copy this column. Okay. And I'll say counter plus equals I. So what essentially it means that first you created a counter variable and you assigned a value zero to it. Now, for I in DF investment amount, it means for every element in this investment amount column, the moment you get that particular number, you just add it up to the previous counter variable. So initially, when my counter is zero, the first element will get added to it. Now, this counter will no more become zero, but it will become whatever the value of the first element. Now, in the second iteration, the second element along with the first element is going to get added and this counter is going to store up that result. Okay. So, and it's going to happen till the iteration overs. So let me just run this. 
I ran this. Now, let me see what is the value which is there inside my counter variable. Counter, run it. And again, I could see 2,537. So these are certain ways, you know, so that you can sum all things inside a particular column, okay? Thank you.